As part of the Cisco Express networking certification, you will be required to have a fundamental understanding of Cisco Meraki and its technology. So, let's get started. We create 100% cloud-managed IT that simply works. Technology can connect us, empower us, and drive us. At Cisco Meraki, we believe that by simplifying powerful technology, we can free passionate people to focus on their mission and reach groups previously left in the darkness. Founded in 2006, Meraki has grown to become an industry leader in the IT space, with over 140,000 customers and more than 2 million network devices online around the world. Our comprehensive set of solutions includes wireless, switching, security, communications, enterprise mobile management, and security cameras, all managed through Meraki's web-based dashboard interface. This allows customers to seize new business opportunities and reduce operational costs. Wherever you may be in the world, with the single pane of glass, you have visibility and control of your wireless security appliances, switches, mobile device management, phones and cameras. All of this without ever changing interfaces or logging into different systems. Managing a full stack of Meraki gear under a single pane of glass affords simple, scalable, cross-platform visibility. What do Meraki MR Wireless, MS Switching, MX Security, Systems Manager, MC Phone and MV Camera all have in common. Intuitive cloud management, of course. Enhancing any network with just one of these products provides granular visibility and control. But deploying a combination of Meraki product families introduces a whole set of unique benefits. With the full stack, you can deploy and grow networks easily and rapidly and reduce administrative overhead with simple, all-inclusive licensing models. So, let's discuss cloud networking technologies in more detail. Cloud networking provides centralized management, visibility and control without the cost and complexity of controller appliances or overlay management software. Cisco Meraki products are built from the ground up for cloud management and come out of the box with centralized management, layer 7 device and application visibility, real-time web-based diagnostics, monitoring, reporting, and live tools such as packet capture or cable testing. Cisco Meraki devices can be deployed quickly and easily without training or proprietary command line interfaces. The cloud increases IT manageability with out-of-the-box installation and management, secure management connection with no user traffic flowing through the cloud. The cloud also increases scalability from small branches to large networks. The network stays up even if the connection to the cloud is lost. Cost saving is possible by reducing operational costs and with the ability to always have up-to-date features that can be enabled easily via the cloud. So, how does it work? Plug any high-performance and reliable Cisco Meraki device, for instance, an MX, MR, MS, MC or MV into a network that has connectivity to the internet and the devices will automatically connect to the Cisco Meraki cloud over SSL. Once registered with your network, it will download its configuration. And from that moment on, you have complete visibility and control over the web. You can configure thousands of devices, run diagnostics, or perform remote troubleshooting with just a few clicks. Tasks such as RF optimization and VPN configuration are automated by the cloud. Firmware updates and application signatures are delivered securely over the web, which you can reschedule or cancel at any time. Let's talk about the out-of-band control plane. Cisco Meraki's out-of-band control plane separates network management data from user data. Management data, and this can include configuration, statistics, monitoring, etc., flows from Cisco Meraki devices to the Cisco Meraki cloud over a secure internet connection and consumes a minimum of overhead, one kilobit per second per device. On the other hand, user data, such as web browsing, internal applications, etc., does not flow through the cloud, instead flowing directly to its destination on the LAN or across the WAN. There are some clear benefits in this architecture, such as scalability, 
whereby you can add devices or sites without MPLS tunnels. Unlimited throughput with no centralised controller bottlenecks. Or reliability, where redundant cloud service provides high availability. And even if management traffic is interrupted, the network continues to function. And security. Since no user traffic passes through the Cisco Meraki cloud, it is fully HIPAA and PCI compliant. The Cisco Meraki service is co-located in Tier 1, SA70 Type 2, SSAE16 certified data centers. These data centers feature state-of-the-art physical and cyber security and highly reliable designs. All Cisco Meraki services are replicated across multiple independent data centers so that customer-facing services fail over rapidly in the event of a catastrophic data center failure. Our data centers have availability monitoring with 4.9 uptime service SLA, 24-7 automated failure detection since servers are tested every five minutes from multiple locations, redundancy with globally distributed data centers and nightly archival backups, disaster recovery with rapid failover to hot spare in event of hardware failure or natural disaster, Cloud services security, the 24-7 automated intrusion detection and remote access restricted by IP address and verified by public key. Administrators are also automatically alerted on configuration changes. Physical security with a high security card key system and biometric readers are utilised to control facility access. All entries, exits and cabinets are monitored by video surveillance. Disaster preparedness with diesel generators provide backup power in the event of power loss. Each data centre has service from at least two top-tier car carriers, and the event of a catastrophic data centre failure, services fail over to another geographically separate data centre. Environmental controls with over-provisioned HVAC systems provide cooling and humidity control, and flooring systems are dedicated for air distribution. All Cisco Meraki data centres undergo daily penetration testing by an independent third party. Let's learn about the security, reliability and privacy information of the Cisco Meraki cloud. Two-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security to an organisation's network by requiring access to an administrator's phone, in addition to its username and password, in order to log in to Cisco Meraki cloud services. During the term of the SLA, the hosted software will be operational and available to the customer at least 99.99% of the time in any calendar month. Every customer's data, network configuration and usage metrics is replicated across three independent data centers. Cisco Meraki data centers are SAS 70 type 2 audited and if you wanted to have additional information, please visit meraki.cisco.com forward slash trust. Compliance and data protection. Cisco Meraki provides a comprehensive solution to ensure a PCI compliant environment held to the strict standards of a level one PCI audit, the most rigorous audit level. Cisco Meraki's rich security feature set addresses all of the clear requirements for building compliant wireless LANs. And Cisco Meraki is certified as a PCS DSS version 3.1 level 1 service provider. HIPAA. Each Cisco Meraki product platform provides a variety of security functions to aid with HIPAA compliance. For instance, WPA2 encryption, IPsec VPN, layer 3 and 7 firewall, radius, and many more. No individually identifiable health information on the network is ever sent to the Cisco Meraki cloud. And finally, the EU cloud with its data privacy regulations. Networks configured to operate in the EU cloud ensure that even the network management information is stored only in the European economic area, including failover and backup. Cisco Meraki also makes available to its customers a DPA, data processing addendum that incorporates the European Commission's standard contractual clauses. So let's now address some commonly asked questions about Cisco Meraki architecture. 
Does my network traffic flow through the Cisco Meraki cloud infrastructure? As mentioned previously, Cisco Meraki uses an out-of-band management architecture, so no user traffic passes through Meraki's data centers. What happens if I can't access the Cisco Meraki cloud? Your network continues to function normally, even if you can't access the cloud. Users can authenticate, firewall rules remain in place, and traffic flows at full line rate. Only management and configuration functions are interrupted and usage statistics are stored locally until the connection to the cloud is re-established, at which time they are pushed to the cloud. How do firmware upgrades work? How often do I get new features? Meraki provides firmware updates via seamless over the web upgrades. Cisco Meraki releases updates each quarter that contain new features, performance improvements, and other enhancements. Firmware upgrades are delivered securely over the web, which you can reschedule or cancel at any time. We'll now move on to an overview of Dashboard. The Cisco Meraki Dashboard. The intuitive single pane of glass, Dashboard, can be accessed anywhere in the world with a modern web browser. With no dependencies on plugins, third-party applications, on-site servers or physical connectivity requirements for control and management access, the experience will be seamless and consistent. Dashboard and local status pages are compatible with all major internet browsers. Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome and Internet Explorer. And while it is not designed for mobile devices, you will still be able to render the majority of pages. However, using the above listed browsers on a desktop or laptop is recommended. Dashboard security. Administrators can require two-factor authentication for logging into Dashboard. One of the options available to users is the Google Authenticator. This service is useful because it can provide two-factor authentication regardless of SMS service. Role-based administration lets you appoint administrators for specific subsets of your organization and specify whether they have read-only access to reports and troubleshooting tools, administer managed guest access via Cisco Meraki's lobby ambassador, or can make configuration changes to the network. Role-based administration reduces the chance of accidental or malicious misconfiguration and restricts errors to isolated parts of the network. There are two types of dashboard administrators, organization administrators and network administrators. For organization administrators, there are two permission types. With read-only permission, the user is able to access most aspects of network and organization-wide settings, but is unable to make any changes. With full permission, the user has full administrative access to all networks and organization-wide settings. This is the highest level of access available. For network administrators, there are four permission types. As a guest ambassador, the user is only able to see the list of Meraki authentication users, add users, update existing users, and authorize or deauthorize users on an SSID or client VPN. Ambassadors can also remove wireless users if they are an ambassador on all networks. They are presented with user management portal only. With monitor only access, the user is only able to view a subset of the monitor section in dashboard and no changes can be made. With read only access, the user is able to access most aspects of a network, including the configure section, but no changes can be made. With full access, the user has access to view, view all aspects of a network and make any changes to it. Once an account has been created with an associated email address that will be required to log into Dashboard, the basic structure of Dashboard consists of two levels, organizations and networks. Organizations are a collection of networks that are all part of a single organizational entity such as a company or school district. Therefore, licensing, inventory, users and configurations are all kept within an organization. 
Networks contain Cisco Meraki devices, their configurations, statistics, and any client device information. Here are just a few of the highlights of the Cisco Meraki dashboard. With the search function in dashboard, users can quickly find anything in their org from device IP addresses to network tags to general configuration questions. At the bottom right of every dashboard page, the user has the opportunity to provide direct feedback and requests to the Cisco Meraki product management team with the Make-A-Wish box. As dashboard evolves and new features or workflows are introduced, notices of improvements and changes are constantly being communicated via dashboard to help administrators keep up with the latest from Cisco Meraki. And that brings us to the end of the Meraki overview section. We hope you found it informative. Thank you for watching.